Hi Pisces, welcome to your um, past life for past life reading for singles. And this is a retrograde special, okay? So let's take a look. Where is your soulmate? When will you be finding them? What are the lessons that you need to learn from the past and how to apply it in your present life? And why is it that there are some things in your life that just keeps on reoccurring? All right, let's take a look. Pisces. Looks like you already met your soulmate. Okay. Really, you already met your soulmate. Alright, Pisces, you have talent in music and arts, is number one. And I feel like you used to be a performer, a singer, an opera, or a performer in front of the king. And you were once a uh, Greek Roman, okay? The problem here is you have a lot of problems in your health. Okay, sorry. Um, you have some health um, problems, okay, in the past. You have a very fragile health, fragile body, and... Your immune system is also not that strong. And I feel like you were once in the... Uh, no. Actually, you, you always got involved in some legal stuff. Okay? Or with some legal problems. And it seems like the police or the authorities, the, uh, the guards are always on to you. Okay? Well, not not really that you're a lawbreaker, but it seems like you were just going through a lot of serious and unfortunate events. And whatever that's been going on in your life, it's all written in the stars. However, you also had a baby with somebody that you've, um, you know, that you've been with or that you were once married with. But this person have abandoned you, okay, or you have abandoned this person. There seems to be a forgiveness that needs to be taken or that needs to be given or that needs to be restored as well. And you lived in, you also lived in Egypt. So this is your second life. You have a gift of wisdom and you also made a promise to somebody and that somebody is still counting on your, your promise. So they, let's pull out your clarification cards. Okay. All right. Well, you've also lived as a male and female in your past lives. You're so afraid of going through the water or big body of water because you have drowned. Okay, while well, you're being transported. And you also have some issues, you know, with your mother or being a mother okay and there is another one who's a karmic relationship which is if there is somebody in your life right now at present who appears like a witch or they're a little bit uh you know bewitching 
It is because that you have stumbled upon somebody in the past or you got involved with somebody who is into witchcraft. And this is the reason why you got imprisoned. Okay, because it's highly forbidden in the past and people like them, you know, during your during this times, it's um, not really allowed. Okay, because for them, it's demonic. So if you once you get involved with this person, the guards have caught you and you got imprisoned out of a, um, you know, out of a situation or romantic whirlwind affair that is um, already out of your hands. Well, you're a little bit, uh, you know, a risk taker. And that's why that even though you were already with somebody with your spouse and you, you've already had a baby, you never made it back because you've had an affair before with somebody who is a very you know he's who's more likely a danger or this person is the one who put you into like a very difficult situation or peril and you have risked all the things that you have worked hard for and all the things that you have gone through because of this affair or because of this um connection okay that i feel like even in your present life um either you always got involved in some legal fights legal impediments or legal you know difficulties and um you know some of you have also gone through uh, imprisonment as well and there is somebody er in your life right now because i feel like you already met your uh, car uh sorry your karmic your soul your soulmate and then your twin flame but unfortunately your soulmate is somebody that you will be hurting and that you will be isolating out of a you know out of your weakness or because of a temptation from this person who will be serving as your karmic soulmate and that you will have some karmic ties because you will be very enthralled and very magnetized and uh, you can't really help to cut off that certain connection but this person is the one who had already driven you into incarceration in the past so if there is a very dangerous person if there is a, like a very fatal attraction or like a like a like a connection you know with someone right now that you're having a hard time cutting off you need to learn something from your past life because you know whatever happened in the history or whatever happened in the past it might reoccur again okay and you have hurted your soulmate before that's why there is a forgiveness that needs to be given or that needs to be taken as well okay somebody needs to forgive you you need to ask forgiveness from your soulmate and you need to take care of your own child because you have abandoned them because of a temptation and look what happened to you you know well karma is a bitch so there you go now in your love life before you risk everything into you know into your romantic life or being with someone romantically get to know them first it is safe for you to love but you also need to use your analysis and your soulmate is somebody who lives in another place or somebody who already moved out of that city so you will be meeting them again and this is going to be making this is going to be marking a brand new love you will be engaged with this person and you will be expressing yourself however this person is the one who will be like driving you out of your poverty or out of your difficulties right now all right and this is going to be your one true love because they will be your charm but let your friends help you in order for you to learn something about you know building a healthy relationship you also need to learn how to study or you need to go back to school uh you may also volunteer for some animal cost this is what you should become okay this is your path and you should also consult a spiritual teacher for you to heal your spiritual life path and your spiritual health it's also time for you to decide so time is of the essence you may also be a part of the um you know military government um uh, fire um fire brigade as well and uh banking and finance stock market stock broker or something like that as long as it has something to do with with metal or with the finances and you love reading books okay and you know what children will also be you will also bring color into your life so don't try to avoid them or if you already have a child then you know don't be so scared to have more and you're already in the right path you have you know a very creative mind so try to um, get into writing as well and follow your heart's desires all right so 
I feel like the lesson for you here is that whenever you're already in a stable relationship or whenever you're already in a stable situation, okay, or with somebody, do not, I mean, fight your weakness. Do not listen to your lust. Even if there is like a strong gravity pull, that is lust. That's not love or destiny, okay? And you will have a child with somebody that you're really destined to be with or you will be engaged or you want to marry the one that you really want to be with. But right after that, you will get involved with somebody who, who whom you will have a fatal attraction. And be very careful because that is going to be your um, your karma. Now, your karmic soulmate is either it's a water sign or an earth sign. No, actually, it's a, yeah, it's a water or earth sign. And then your soulmate is somebody who is an air or earth sign as well. Huh. And you've also made a promise to your soulmate. So this is the reason why you're having a hard time finding the right one. is because you need to go back to somebody that you used to have a promise to. Okay. Tr learn how to honor your words. Okay, so anyway, that's it for you for this month and for this retrograde Pisces. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.